Weecher says, let us pray. History does not repeat. I agree, Weecher. This match deserves to be played with good connections. that we are back on the roof. Excuse okay. me. But it seems good. It does seem pretty good. Oh my god. I literally thought the combo was dropped and then we just don't find a way to keep it going. Oh wow. Was Weecher trying to kill Fruit there in retaliation? <laughs> I mean, if that connected... It might have, yeah. Positioning there, it's being exactly the position needed to be able to grab ledge that quick. Because if you go for something like that, where you fast fall to the ledge as Jenny in a slightly different position, you aren't able to do it as fast as they did I'm right there. Wow, Weezer, honestly, seems to be one of the best that I know of, of hitting those just running air strongs off stage to just kill you off the side. For example, wow, just <laughs> and that's dead. Oh, wow, and yeah. Filter, at that percent, you know. Yeah, that's fair. It also would have killed much earlier given Jenny's recovery. Wow, Fruit just going for it again. These air strongs attempting to catch the, the Orca side be there. Oh, wow, oh. just having to grab there. Like, just like I said, it kills so early against Jenny. Wow, yeah. That's remarkable. That is post, this is, that is post nerf. It killed earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Perfectly even. Platforms always so scary to get caught on by either of these characters. Okay. Oh, big hit! Wow, the full yeah. charge fair there. That is, yeah, that's a kill. Don't see those often, but. Sometimes they're just so unexpected that they can hit, and that's going to be dead there. Oh, oh, oh. We got just last stock. It's the base knockback of Uffy killing. We are content to sit on the platform and wait out these side bees. I can, I mean, it worked out. I, I, I assume that that, uh, oh no. Okay, we can just barely having enough height there. But, uh... In this game, you press the special button in shield to, uh, the shield drop, so... Oh, no! Wow, nice CI on the down tilt there. Did not go off stage. Oh, nice so grab! Oh. Oh, ooh. This is, is a real In terms of vertical recovery, these might be the two... shortest vertical recoveries in the game. Oh, yeah. Both of them, if they get just a spike, can just kill the other. game one the transformation continues i have to wonder because because weijer got to this point with uh, a connection test and a dq not to say that weijer isn't you know he's obviously holding his own here but fruit had to fight through quite a bit the training guard it's very hot right now climbing the tower i wonder if weijer is uh, going to be able to keep up Be able to warm himself up. I mean, he has a whole set to work with.
Oh, and a sector pick. Okay. A stage that is big as this, I can only assume Weedrip picks it for uh, just the fact that Orca is so much faster than Jenny on the ground, utilizing that space, hopefully. Because yeah, hopefully. Platforms in the height, I mean, we'll have to see who, who benefits the most from either of those things. Wow, crazy just going for an upbeat like that. And that's dead. Getting it F throw, very strong. Oh, went for gold, but no dice again. Just the immediate side beyond to the stage, we're not ready for it, but it appears like right now we're just seeing fruit just Control the game right now with their projectile. Uh oh. But you're going for a lot of these crazy options. And I'm not really connecting. Fruit content to just hang back, use their large moves and projectiles to go in whenever they want to. Using the platform there to catch Weecher, thinking that they escaped from the F Smash there. Two stop beat on Weecher, like. Oh my god, and it just keeps going! Not Orca, Ooh. the hardest characters to actually sweet spot their upbeat with without being vulnerable. Man, oh! That's what you're seeing. Fruit is just the puppet master right now. Seriously? <laughs> Weeder gets a good stalker for a minute. Weeder being very oh These side beats are going back onto the stage working out quite often. It's hard to react to. I don't know what Weeder would be thinking right now, I mean... Yeah, that's just like, gonna kill, yeah. We're seeing a very well-executed game plan of condition you to shield, and then I grab you. <laughs> Fruit For just real. makes it over. Great effect. It's really working out right now. Oh, oh my oh, god! That almost was it! Weeder went for any sort of re normal recovery option there, it would have hit. My that's, goodness, that's, that's a great kill. Immediate death there. Orca strong hit side be killing extremely early, but normally getting hits into it don't happen very often. Like that's exactly what we just need though. Yeah. You see a glimmer of hope in this match. Just, oh my goodness. Maybe something <laughs> another early kill as well. But with his own counterpick of Sector, it's sort of off the top things that Orchid can do a lot of the time are less likely. Yeah, it'd have to be a Gimp or another side be like that. Oh my goodness. Oh. I from there messing up what seemed to be Fruit's uh, attempt at a fair tech chase. Yeah. Oh, oh. wow. And yeah. there we go. At there that percent, you're dead. I and he having a kill throw in any direction really besides i guess down <laughs> <laughs> yeah like we was definitely starting to turn up the heat a little bit there at the end of the match but the gap was already just too big it, I, I imagine it's hard to build up any sort of momentum with the way that fruit's playing willing to just to fully only go in when they know that they have the advantage is what it felt like you know Playing so yeah. uh, carefully around Weijer's options. I mean, Orca being such a fast character, that's not easy to do. Well, 
We're, we're, at, we're at bracket reset potential here. Yeah, and Meadow. Meadow Valley. See, this is what I was thinking all the way back in the um, set versus Cosmos is that Meadow Valley is, you know, in, at least in my opinion, you know, one of Jenny's lesser stages. So. Oh, goodness. We're seeing, we're seeing an example <laughs> of down air. You know, it. Oh, oh my. Oh, that wow. was incredible spacing to get that. Such a scary scenario that you're in every time you're paired off stage by Orca because you you don't want to di out, but then you di in and we just immediately react with the air strong. Wow. You're just barely living there. So scary there. An option of the. Uh, oh my goodness. Wow. We just. Proving me wrong immediately, just this stage pick. Like, get, previously, like going for a lot of crazy things and them not working, but now we they're just hitting. We're following up so well after it. Like, the slopes come into play so much with Jenny because if Jenny's on the slope, the axe will just hit into the ground, it won't go anywhere. Yeah, a lot of. Interaction so with your axes just become wonky and don't work as much when you have the area near the ledge. Oh my goodness, Weijer. That was uh -oh. an absolutely insane attempt. If that connected, I believe it actually might have killed, but... I don't know if that's even possible to hit, but he's just... Oh! Oh, oh. so close to hitting too! Like, that is, that is, um... That oh, SD wow. is like a total shift here. Very smart there by Fruit using the Fire Axe to catch any sort of attempted landing option. The the little bit of a lip there. Oh my goodness, oh! the final hit of upper only. All Mantis it took to there to finish it off. The Mantis Shrimp still lives. Oh. We're seeing this counter pick come to full effect, working much better than the Sector one. A lot of Fruit's game plan was the projectiles, and we're just seeing it sort of fizzle out. And Weijer is just, without that pressure, is able to put a lot of pressure of his own. Ooh, tricky, tricky movement. Wow, tricky movement, yeah. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Such a scary situation to be on the platform oh. against this character. Such high percent. Is that a gr Oh my good. That is it. We are right, firing no back, not willing to die just yet. These signs of life, I mean, uh, yes, that was in due part to the stage, but it wasn't just the stage that was going on there. We just seemed to be just in punish game wise, just much more willing to just try to kill on every single hit that he goes for so, to his own detriment. But when it worked, oh, yeah. he was dying. 50 60 percent and i'm just glad someone did it because like i said it earlier and i wasn't like 100 percent sure but like i was like it wouldn't metal be a good pick and i think that just proved it people i, I swear people forget meadows even in the stage list sometimes <laughs> <laughs> i swear there's a reason it exists and this is it it, it introduces oh, counterplay that wouldn't exist otherwise we're back to ruins You're using the, the runes flat as a sort of solace from the side view, but once it gets away, eventually leaves you. And you're cold and alone against the scary axe woman. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, but here we go. Still going. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> Air dodging <laughs> away from the stage there. You gotta be careful! A little bit of spaghetti happening, just a little bit. Oh my goodness. Like that's so close. Boom! And that's not dead, correct oh. DI there by Fruit. Yeah, really good DI. Oh, yeah. you're barely <laughs> missing the grab turnaround there. Oh! Nice wave by Weezer. 
got to be so scary playing or because like uh, uh -oh. you don't space your upbeat just like exactly right. There's a large period of time where you're so vulnerable. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh tricky, tricky the, movement. The, the up smash itself being the bait for a dare up smash. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I was all grounded. Orca's smash attacks just being so, so quick. Oh, wow. That was very good for Fruit there. Recognizing that even if they might get hit afterwards, just this hitting Weijer once to prevent himself from even having the chance of dying early. But right here, we're seeing it there. Curse you, Mantis Shrimp. <laughs> Wow, the instant reaction there, react retaliating with the down special. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That was actually really, that was really good. These games are so close, like. Oh, the weak up smash there. The classic combo, the weak up smash, up B, air strong. Uh oh, that's a whiff, oh. No uh, the thing, Ooh. oh my goodness, the down smash killing. The thing about Orca's up smash is it's very hard to whiff punish. And a lot of Jenny's moves don't come out quickly enough sometimes, especially since you're already in the air. Or if the moves would be ones that are grounded. Oh, oh my god, it's a clank battle. battle. This jab just barely getting faster than out in the end there. No jump, so scary. Just, oh my goodness. Of being far away enough to not get caught there. Weijer keeps sweet spotting really well, and Fruit's yeah. been just banking too much on hoping that Weijer doesn't sweet spot with those air strongs. Oh, that up tilt. So much. Oh, oh going the opposite direction there, Fruit, the correct EI, not dying off the top. You're no longer falling for these tricky movements like we've seen before, and there it's too high percent. You can't live regardless. Wow, now this tournament could be over. Seems Weijer is no longer falling for these baits that Fruit is putting out. Will we see these another little, transformation? These little breadcrumbs. But yeah, will we see another Fruit transformation 3.0 perhaps? Because, I mean, after the start of the set, it seems like we're... Would it be considered Weijer 2.0 or Weijer 1.0? Because, I mean, we didn't really get to see him play much in this tournament until now. Weijer, Weijer's not a player with version numbers. Weijer's like a like a <laughs> biological life form that like is always learning. I see. It's like it's a it's like a it's a very smooth transition. It's an evolution more than a transformation when you talk about Weijer. Because you saw throughout each one of those games, the gap got smaller and smaller until Weijer started yeah. winning, and then in the end, a more confident victory on that game. We just slowly and gradually grows in strength throughout the set. Yeah. It's like I was talking about, he didn't really have a lot of opportunities to play, so maybe what we're seeing is him warming up and getting more used to this sort of more competitive set. And I mean, with this performance, even if he loses this next game, it's a wonder if Fruit's able to keep that up against him for the next entire set that they're going to have to go through. You know, your fruit's name is Fruit, but Weijer, Weijer has two fruits on their character, so. It's true. Yeah. Some deep, some deep insight there. Just taking everything in, we did not talk about his profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about the Weijer profile picture. Uh, but, uh... A back to back with game. Last game, I promise, oh. says Ouija. And oh, Fruit says like, no. No. Wow. I like it. I like How it. How cinematic. Oh, I'm ready. I'm leaning in my chair. <laughs> I'm ready. I like it. Game leading and not even playing. And it's nighttime ruins, too. Facing okay. around the upgrades we're seeing from Weijie. Oh my goodness, Fruit's upper trying to retaliate against Weijie's potential edge guard, just sort of whiffing. Weijie not going out there, and... Big, 
big hit. No damage. Dude, not guessing the correct DI. Whenever that happens, you just fly off the top. You increased ever on night ruins, but I have day ruins. I don't think that's ever happened before. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm on day ruins. Oh my goodness. I wonder which one's on stream. It, I, that's crazy. I didn't even realize the variance would be different per person. It, I, I've never seen. Oh. oh, I got day ruins. That's bizarre. But anyways, um. And the thing is, is the the difference that I, the way that fruit dominated those previous games was that they had a lead, and the sort yeah. of like. Uh, content to throw these projectiles and, and force Weeder to be the one to have to go in doesn't exist anymore now that Weeder, these games that they've won, it's been the opposite. Yeah, first that play, single play stock style, being yeah. the sort of thing that just a difference in playstyle that you're able to have now. First so one well. is so integral to the way yeah. he's playing, yeah. Just the rest of it, the, the tempo is set from there. Oh my goodness. I actually can't believe that, that connected. <laughs> that, was, that was wild, yeah. But as soon as Fruit has the lead, then they can play the projectile shield conditioning game and just sit back and relax. But, but now um, we have to see Fruit play a little bit more aggressive, perhaps, in order to try to gain that lead back. Oh! Oh my goodness. Nice living. That was... Yeah, that's like... Just barely. Barely, yeah. Oh my oh, goodness. Skateboard what a wall placed up clutch. there. Oh. <laughs> just the haymaker from Ouija. Coming in, punching. Yeah, what we're seeing from a lot from Weijer is just getting his hits and then leaving, just being not, not trying to go too far and get punished. We tend to just use Orca's speed supremacy over Jenny to get their hits and you just sort of guerrilla tactics. I see Fruit trying so Oh my goodness. There. Like, Fruit had like Back four different fair. ideas there, none of them were. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm seeing just continue these combos going. Oh, oh missing the jump there, unfortunate. Oh. Fruit has a chance. Yeah, this gift that sent it on their lap from Weijer. It's gonna need a it's gonna need a zero to death or something now. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is how it starts. Platform. That's how it starts. Oh! Oh my goodness, no jump. Caught tripping. Oh, oh unfortunate. That's a lot Fruit of damage. correctly sort of guessing where Weijer was going to go, but getting caught up in it. At this percent, it's getting less and less likely, but... Oh, it's still having again. a jump. That's not yet it, but what? Well, oh, the platform saving them. Oh, the air dodge and expectation of an upbeat, but Weijer uh, waited. That's it. That no, is it. Really well played the fruit. I can't stress that enough, but like, wow, Weijer. Wow. Weijer. Earned that victory. Taking well the played. those first stocks that he got all the way to the bank in each one of these games. Weijer making good on his promise of it being the last game. Last and Weijer is your victor. I like the, the confidence. Weijer cracked. Golden Invitational. Yep, the crew staff Gold Invitational. Slap City Champion. We are a little behind schedule here, so I think we'll just wrap up rather quickly here. This was Radical Raymond and Plant on comms. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll move on to the next event. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you.